Johnny Bravo was one of my favorite Cartoon Network shows back in the day. It had everything. Babes, bizarre adventures, and badass celebrity guests. The main character is a dim-witted, muscular, self-proclaimed womanizer, so you know this show has tons of dirty jokes. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham, and these are the dirtiest dirty jokes in Johnny Bravo. Number 8. In this episode, a real sensitive cat rolls into town and tries to teach Johnny how to be more sensitive for the ladies. Of course, Johnny doesn't quite get it at first, so he really has to spell it out for him. How'd you bag that babe? Oh, fella, somebody's got to teach you a thing or two about sensitivity, sensitivity. Show that girl you really give a D. I'm pretty sure that guy just gave her the D, but he did it respectfully, so that's what counts, right? Number seven. When little Susie invites Johnny to her birthday party, Johnny doesn't give her the answer she's looking for right away. Actually, the answer he gives her is kind of messed up if you think about it. This is little Susie from next door. Will you come to my birthday party today? I am busy. Call me in 15 years when you're a co-ed. Yeah, dude. Asking a child to call you when she's old enough to fuck you isn't gross at all. Number six. In this scene, a little girl sees Johnny checking out a fitness magazine at the bookstore and decides to call him out in front of everyone. Look, Mommy! He's stuck in that pictures of all those naked men! This is a men's fitness magazine. I want to look like this, not at this. I got nothing to be ashamed of. TV guy. Is it just me? Or did Johnny seem a little too defensive when the kid questioned his manhood? Number five. When Johnny gets shot in the arm by a poisonous dart, he uses his last six seconds of consciousness as wisely as humanly possible. Al, you have six seconds of consciousness left. Use them wisely. <laughs> yep, that was probably some good old fashioned softcore centerfold porn. Number four. After Johnny gets kidnapped by the Amazons and taken to the top of a volcano, we learn a little too much about his V-card status. Oh, great Athena, we give you this virgin as a sacrifice to your beauty and womanhood. Did she say virgin? I used to watch the show in third grade. How did they let Cartoon Network create a show about a guy who bangs a lot of bitches air after school? The late 90s and early 2000s was a very different time in animation. Number three. A few moments later, Melissa pushes Johnny into the volcano, which erupts and sends him flying to a different kind of sexy island. Hi there. Welcome to the island of beautiful men. I can already tell you're going to feel right at home here. Son, you look like you could use a refresher. You're all about to take a swim. I've got an extra swimsuit if you care to join us. Hey, man. Sexuality exists on a spectrum. Johnny's overt heterosexuality has got to be an overcompensation for whatever trouser feelings he undoubtedly felt on the island of beautiful men, right? No judgment. Number two. When little Susie invites her cousin Farrah Fawcett to play pin the tail on the donkey at her birthday party, things get really dirty really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. I can't remember the last time I was blindfolded. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sounds like Farrah Fawcett's into some kind of kinky shit in the bedroom. Tight! Number one. Johnny's in need of a job, so he tries out working at the Troubled Teen Hotline. Unfortunately, I think he thought he was working for the Be Hot, Be Naughty, Be Courteous phone sex hotline from Rocco's Modern Life. Troubled Teen Hotline. Your boyfriend left you? So, uh, what are you wearing? Why? That's not what they meant by troubled teens, Johnny. This is a kid's show, not an episode of To Catch a Predator. These are the dirtiest jokes that I could find in Johnny Bravo, but I want to know which ones I missed in the comments. Like and subscribe to Obsev, and I'll be back next week to ruin your childhood.